Hi everyone and welcome to Safe Diving. So most of you will probably know me from my Simply Scuba days where I talked a lot about scuba diving equipment and I kind of miss talking to people about dive equipment so I wanted to make a top five list of my own personal favorite dive computers based on all of the ones that are on the market at the moment. Now, the first thing that I need to let you guys know is that I actually took commercial availability into account when picking this list, because whilst there are some amazing dive computers out there, like some of these guys, um, they're not the easiest to get your hands on in all countries. So I might do a separate video on underappreciated uh, sort of dive gear to cover these first. Um, now, this isn't gonna be in any particular order to avoid favoritism, and because that's pretty hard, but uh, it might help some of you notice a dive computer that you might not have considered because there are some truly underrated dive computers out there on the market today that have some great features that are definitely worth looking at if you're thinking about investing in a new dive computer. Now, I know that my audience is pretty varied in skill level and feature awareness, so I've kind of handpicked a bit of a range of dive computers as far as price and features, but I would 100% recommend any of these dive computers to anybody at any level, and I would be more than happy to use any of these myself on a dive. So let's take a look at five of my favorite dive computers. The Scuba Pro G2 dive computer doesn't look particularly flash or exciting, but uh, sort of while it might just look like any other dive computer, it has something very special inside it. What the G2 and a bunch of other Scuba Pro dive computers have is human factor diving, which means that it can connect to a heart rate monitor that you wear kind of across your chest. And this is more important than just another line graph on your dive log to download to show your heart rate during the dive, but it can also change your dive profile based on how hard your body is working. Most dive computers have their algorithm inside them that tells you roughly how long you can stay at a certain depth and when it's safe to ascend, but they're pretty generic and they don't know how warm or how cold you are or even how hard you're working. If the chest strap registers that you're nice and warm and not working very hard, you're on a nice easy dive, then it'll let you stay down longer. But if you're cold and you're swimming against a current for the whole dive, then the dive computer will be more conservative and send you up earlier so that you don't hurt yourself. Human Factor Diver tailors your dive profile to you and your dive so you're just safer and that's one of the best features. It has many others. The computer itself is fairly good looking um, with all the features that you could possibly need as well as a color screen, different mounting options and a rechargeable battery. So you don't have to carry spare batteries or worry about seals flooding. But this is definitely the future of dive computers by using your personal biometrics to give you a more accurate decompression profile because so far none of my dive computers have known how warm or cold I was or how hard my dive actually was. They were just kind of guessing. A lot of dive computers on my list are pretty advanced and therefore expensive. Um, so that's basically because expensive ones tend to have the best features, but I like the Aqualung i300C dive computer. The i300C is a great dive computer for what you pay. So it's very much a recreational dive computer, but it has everything that you need for most dives really. Now what dive computers in this price range usually fall down over is their user interface, how to use it. A lot of these entry level kind of large screen dive computers with one or two buttons can just be so hard to navigate that they're just a pain in the butt to use. But Aqualung and Sunto um, are actually, in my opinion, some of the easiest to navigate. 
So if you're looking for your first dive computer or one that's just for recreational diving, then definitely look at the i300C. The C in its name stands for connection and means that it has built in Bluetooth, uh, which is great for downloading your dives. So you can just connect to an app on your phone to download them. Um, but more importantly, you can change your dive computer settings from your phone, from the app. So changing your nitrox is really easy. Just connect to the app, hit update and it's done. You don't have to navigate on the computer itself to a certain mode and then cycle through to the gas. It's just, it's all on your smartphone and it's so much easier. Sticking with the kind of recreational range of computers but upgrading a Twitch is the Eon Core. So the Core itself is the younger brother to the Eon Steel and is very much the light version of the Steel but it's still a great dive computer. What you get with the Core is a lightweight colour screen dive computer with a pretty easy user interface. Now it's not Cento's best user interface in my opinion, I prefer the UI of the four button range of dive computers but it is worlds better than some other dive computers out there. There are a few out there where I would literally have to sit down with it for an hour at a time just to even attempt to look like I knew how to navigate it, but the Eons are pretty easy to muddle around with straight out of the box. Why I chose the Core over the Steel though is that the Core is just more accessible. It's cheaper and whilst it's made from softer materials, that's about the only thing that you're losing out on. The core has pretty much everything that the steel has, but for the metal casing, really. Um, everything else on the inside is very much the same, but smaller and lighter, and it comes with a few different colors. Admittedly, two of them are black and white, but most dive computers don't even give you that choice. The Garmin Descent Mark 1 is a smart watch sized dive computer and whilst Garmin isn't really known for their scuba diving computers, it isn't actually their first. They've made dive computers before but they're not a big hitter when it comes to dive computers and it kind of shows when you talk to Garmin themselves about scuba diving. Now that being said, it's been a very long time since I've actually spoken directly to Garmin so they may have have some better team members who know what they're talking about now, but whoever built the Descent actually knew what they were doing. The Descent has plenty of modes, countless modes, and it is very easy to use. It's definitely had plenty of input from the rest of the Garmin range though because navigation is super easy. It has a ton of additional modes including like GPS um, so you can use the Descent as an all-round watch computer because it has a heart rate monitor built into it. It's got GPS so it's very much one of their hiking computers just with scuba and freedive modes kind of crammed in it as well. The downside is is that because it has all of that hiking stuff it's a pricey computer and it, at its price point you usually get more premium diving specs like air integration as many dive computers or sorry as many divers pointed out for the price range you can get a separate gps a dive computer a heart rate monitor for less money but as a complete unit it's a smart machine i just think that garmin needs to spend a little more time and love with their diving range there's obviously going to be a mark ii in the works but um, they need to spend some time in the industry because right now it just feels kind of like a side project for garmin that they don't really care about too much if they want to make their brand big in the scuba diving industry then they need to spend a bit more time with divers and with dive centers This is the dive computer that I ultimately went for and there are a few reasons why. So the biggest reason was that almost everybody on scuba diving forums ultimately recommended the Shearwater Perdix, which is one of the biggest badges of excellence because it's rare that the whole dive community actually agrees on one thing. And if everybody recommends one computer in particular, then it's gotta be pretty good. So the Perdix is basically the younger brother to the Petrel and the bigger cousin to the Terek. 
So the Petra, no, sorry, the Perdix is a large screen dive computer made in Canada, and yeah, it's the dive computer that I dive with. It is very flexible both inside and out. On the outside, you can choose how to attach your dive computer, and on the inside, you can change the mode from a simpler dive screen for when you're just starting out. You can color code everything you want, so uh, the sort of the color scheme that you want, but then when you reach another level of your diving, you can switch up the mode for more control and information on the screen. The Perdix just kind of ticks all of the boxes for me, um, but if you don't want a large screen, you just want a watch size dive computer if you're a bit more of an active scuba diver, um, but you still like the Perdix, then go for the Terek. Actually, this is fairly common in some of the dive computers that I've spoken about. If you want a small version of the, uh, the G2, look at the M2. If you want a watch sized I300, you've got the I200. The Core has the D5, and the Descent, the Descent doesn't really have an alternative because it's the only dive computer that Garmin make, um, although the way they deny that they're not going to uh, sort of make a Mark II, they're definitely working on a Mark II. But what do you guys think? What is your favorite dive computer? And um, sort of what's your least favorite? I've got a nice list of dive computers that I personally hate. Uh, and if this video gets enough likes, then uh, you never know, I might even let you guys know um, because there are some diabolical dive computers out there. Um, but yes, what is important to you guys when you're looking for a dive computer? Is it the screen? Um, is it the user interface, the algorithm on the inside? Or is it just the price? because whilst price should be important, it really shouldn't be your primary focus. Okay, so thank you very much for watching this video. On my channel, I upload videos on Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays, all about how to be a better scuba diver. Now, I've been working in and around the diving industry for quite a long time now, and I have a lot of advice that I can help you out with. So if you need any help or advice with your diving, just let me know in the comments below and subscribe to my channel, and I'll probably make a video about it to help you out. So, if you want to, you can click here to check out one of my latest videos on how to upgrade your equipment and your diving as well, and then click here to check one of my scuba diving advice videos. Thank you for watching, and of course, safe diving.